show you how to use the Neo T. Um, this is a TP resuscitator. Of course, you use it for neonatal resuscitation. The advantages to this are you're monitoring the pressure for each breath you give, so you're not going to give too much pressure and cause a pneumothorax. So when it comes out of the package, it usually looks like this. Of course, this would hook up into the onto the flow meter. The flow comes from the flow meter through there, through this called the controller. The controller is where we're going to adjust our PIP, and we're looking for a PIP, and generally we're looking for about 25 centimeters of water pressure. I'll show you how to measure that, and then that's going to come out right here. Uh, this is what adapts to the endotracheal tube, or the mask, or any of those adapters like that. And then we have a manometer to show us what's going on here. You might also find that when it comes out of the package, it looks like this and may have a nipple on there that you can plug a piece of extension tubing into. That works the same way. This one just comes so that this kind of threads into it. It's just like a, a simple piece of extension tubing. So let's plug this in. As a general rule, run it at 8 to 10 liters from the flow meter. If you increase the flow, two things that's going to change. It's going to mainly going to change your um, just think about your peak flow. So it's going to go from your peep to your pip faster. You see, I'm including this side, and this is how you're going to check it. it actually, comes with a with a cover here. Put the cover over it. Now let's let's adjust our pip. So I'm going to close off this, and it's about uh, almost 10 there. I'm going to slowly increase this knob down here until our pip's about 25 and it's right about there. If you notice you're maxing this one out, if I go over here and increase my flow a little bit, give us a leeway. So, about 25. That's what we're looking for for a, for a pip. So we have that set. Now we set our peep. So peep is, you include this the same way, you can put this on here and you turn this knob until you see your manometer start to come up and you can see it came up from zero to, up to close to five there and that's so that would be good so 25 over five is kind of what you're looking for initial for initial settings um, now if I was going to ventilate something I'll show you how this works I'll just attach it to this ET tube when I seal this on this is given CPAP or PEEP so if you watch the lungs real close when I attach it they will expand and there's your CPAP I can feel air coming out of this hole right here. Whenever I clue this hole, this is giving the breath. It's like squeezing the bag. Now your normal bagging rate is going to be about 40 per minute. And you're going to want to make sure you see chest rise. And you're also, if you have chest rise, your manometer is going to come up. You notice how, even if I hold my finger on here, it never goes above 25. That's something that's really hard to do if you have a self-inflating ambu or even a flow-inflating ambu. So, this rate would be too fast. This is too slow. So, somewhere in the middle, about 40 per minute. Like I said, it will adapt to a mask also. If you seal the mask on the child's face, it's going to give them CPAP. If you occlude this, it will ventilate if you set them out. Any questions please send me an email. Thanks.